<laughs> hey boo, it's your big sis Chris, also Coach Chris, with another video coming at ya to help you with your ear training and theory. Today I want to talk about theory and note names and how to identify them when reading music. So we know that we have two different clefs. We have treble clef and we have bass clef. Today I want to talk about treble clef. A treble clef looks like this. When you see treble clef, that means you usually use your right hand. There's a couple different things that we can say to help ourselves remember the names of the notes. For me, I like to go to the same two. If you want to come up with something else that you think will stick a lot better, feel free to do that. It's all fun and games. So first, let's identify the spaces. For spaces, we say face. And with reading music, it's always bottom to top. So first, if I say face and I spell F-A-C-E and it's bottom to top, that means it's always F, A, C, then E. And that's how I read the spaces in treble clef. Then let's talk about the lines. For me, a student from years ago actually told me about this one. <laughs> and I actually think it's really funny. Some things you just can't unsee in your mind when you put it together, you know what I mean? So this one is Elephants Go Break Dancing Fridays. Again, bottom to top, which would make it E for elephants, G for go, B for break, D for dancing, and F for Fridays. So if I want to remember my spaces, what do I say again? That's right, face, F-A-C-E. -E. What about if I want to remember the lines? Yeah, I know, it's weird. Just think elephants first and then visualize the rest and it should be kind of weird. <laughs> it should be hard to forget. Elephants go break dancing Fridays. Yeah, the trunks in the air with them on the backs, all that crazy stuff. Now let's talk about the flashcards. When I am reading music, first we always remember that there's four spaces and five lines. That's why for face, there's four letters, F-A-C-E. For the lines, there's five, E-G-B-D-F. Now, I want you to look at this card and identify first if it's on a space or a line. Is it on a space or a line? Good, it's on a space. Now I'm going bottom to top. And I know that for spaces we say what? Face, exactly. F-A-C-E. So that has to make this note what? Exactly. E. Good. Let's go to the next one. Is it on a line or a space? Perfect. It's on a line. So what do we say for lines? That's it. Elephants go break dancing Fridays. Elephants go break dancing Fridays. Which makes this what note? Exactly. F. Good. All right. So I want you to pause it if you need to, but I'm gonna go through the next ones. Use the same exact process. Identify if it's a space or a line first, then figure out which acronym you need to use, and then count your way up from bottom to top. Which one is this? C. G. D, E, A, F, B, and last but not least, this is middle C. If you understand piano, you know that middle C is in the dead smack, well, technically, 
not, but at least it looks like it's in the middle of the piano, right? It's also in the middle of bass clef and treble clef. So you can play this in both clefs. That's why they have it for treble and bass. And that's why they call it middle C because it's the only C in the middle. And it looks just like this. Then there's one more note I want us to identify. You see this a lot in beginner piano. This note, let's see if you know what it is. Not ringing the bell? Here's the thing, with music, everything goes in the order of the musical alphabet, which starts with A, just like the English alphabet, ends with G. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, <laughs> right? So, I have to think in this case backwards because I'm going down. I know the bottom line in treble clef lines is what letter again? If it was right here, it would be E, exactly. So what letter comes before E? Say your alphabet if you need to. Exactly, D. So that makes this one D. Make sense? Excellent. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm going to have a trial run of what I do with my students called Flashcard Blitz. And especially my Chris Court kids love this game because every week you get to top the high score that you had before. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna show you a card, but I'm gonna be moving through them pretty quickly. Now this time, I need you to say the answers out loud and zone in and focus, go as fast as you can. I'm not gonna go too fast because I know that this is still new for you. If there's a card that you miss, it's okay. Just keep going and do your best. All right, here we go, flashcard blitz. In, you've seen this card for a while. Uh, I should put it to the back, okay. In three, two, one, go. F, C, D, G, D, E, A, F, B, middle C, and E. Good. Now, if that took you a little while, if it wasn't quite there yet, that's okay. The nice thing about videos is that you can do them as many times as you want. <laughs> if you're ever interested in learning more about music and ear training, please be sure to shoot me a message. You can shoot me an email at crystalcourtmusic at gmail.com, or you can follow us on Instagram at crystalcourtmusic or Facebook at crystalcourtmusic. I hope this was helpful to you, and stay tuned for level two of Flashcard Blitz and Bass Clef, level one. I'll see you next time, bye.